I'm going to show you how to do a cool little trick in Automator. It's built into the Mac. A lot of people don't even know about it. Let me show you what it is. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what we're gonna to do today is a little bit different. I've done some videos in the past. You can search my channel, search for Automator, um, and you'll find a whole bunch of videos I've done in the past on this, but this is a different task. So there's a feature called Automator. It's built into your Mac. All Mac computers have it. You have to go into, you know, go into your launch pad. Then you have to go into your other, there's a folder called Other, and inside of there, there's a program called Automator. And I'll get into this in a second. I'm gonna share my screen. It's gonna take two minutes to create this application. And what this thing does is it's really cool, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create it and what it does later. But in a nutshell, let's say you have a whole bunch of text, let's say on a website or something, you can really quickly just select it, right click on your mouse, make sure right click's enabled, and then you select something from the menu which will show up after we create it, and it's, then it's gonna create an audio file. And that audio file will read all that text back to you. So why is this important? Obviously if you're visually impaired, it's, it's, it's huge because you can take stuff and make it into audio, um, but very quickly, I know you can do this you can do this a lot of other ways, mind you, but this is just to show you how Automator works, number one, and it's really fast, number two, and it's also kind of, you know, we make it easier, number three. So, but the other reason you'd use this is let's say you have a whole bunch of text on a website, you can select all that text, just right click, hit one button, and it creates a text or an audio file for you. And you can listen to that audio file, it's gonna read it back in text to you, and you can kind of like, let's say you wanna to go to bed and you wanna read through a whole article, or you wanna learn stuff like cooking or something, you can save a whole bunch of this text, it creates audio files, and then just move it over and then just listen to it uh, as you're going to sleep or in your, in your headphones or whatever you wanna do. Let me show you how this works in a second, I'm gonna share my screen here. It's really cool, it's gonna give you some ideas about Automator, how it works, and uh, you'll learn a little bit about it, but it's gonna be a cool feature also. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, let me just show you how to do this really quick. This is really kind of cool. So here's my desktop of my Mac. What you want to do is you just, I actually have hot corners enabled, but you want to go you know, into here, obviously, which is Launchpad. Look for the other folder here. So you'll find it right here. Click on that. And inside of here, you're looking for Automator. See it right there? It's this little guy with the bazooka. So you want to click on him. And what I tend to do is once you click on him, you might get like a box that comes up. I always hit Cancel there. I always cancel that out. And then I go up here and I go File and then new. So you can see that I'm in Automator. Make sure you're in Automator right there. Then go to File, New. And it's going to bring open this box. Now, this box will look similar to everybody. On older versions of Mac, this is all very similar. If you're using an old version of Mac OS, this quick action right here, which is this little wheel, I think it says Service. So what you want to find is either Service or Quick Action. I'm on an M1 Mac, so mine is Quick Action right here. So you can see, obviously, that that's, that's the one you want to click. It looks like a little wheel on both of them. So you click that, highlight it at least. It's highlighted, and then you go down here to Choose, and you want to select Choose. All right, so once you click that, you're going to see this workflow up here. And don't touch anything yet. You just want to leave it alone. It says Workflow Receives Current Automatic Text. You want to make sure it, it, you, you can click on this to look at them, but just leave it alone and make sure it says Automatic Text right there. And then it says In Any Application. Again, you can change this, and I'll get into that maybe later, but you can, you can select this so that it, it can only be done in one application. But I'm going to leave that as Any Application. And the rest of it here, just leave alone. Um, it doesn't matter for this example, so leave everything alone the way it is. Then you want to go over, there's a, a drop-down menu over here, and you can see there's a ton of different things in this drop-down menu. You want to scroll kind of towards the bottom, and, and you know what we're looking for down here is the T's. And so you can see one down here called Text to Audio File. See it right there, Text to Audio File. You want to just click it once, highlight it, and then just drag it over to the right into this box and let go. So now we have it over here. So that's pretty funny. So now here we have the one thing up at the top that we left alone, and we have this other box that came down here. And the cool part about this is watch how cool this is. So, you know, you don't have to do much here either. This is how easy this, this thing is to set up. You leave this kind of alone. You can change the person's name that you want it to read back to you. So there's a whole bunch of people that will have different voices. Um, I'm going to leave it as Alex for this, for just for this. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a save as file. So I always make it a file that I recognize, like text, you know, to speech. And I'll just do like um, test, something like that. So that's the name of the file. And then it says, where should I save it? I always just save it on the desktop so I can grab it and then move it somewhere else. So basically, all I did here is I, I created a save as. That's it. And I left it alone. So nothing else. So now all I have to do here is I actually just go up to File. See here? And then I'm going to go to Save. So File, Save. Um, and then I'm just going to do this again. Text to Speech. I'm going to call it Text to Speech. And I'm going to save this. All right? 
So now this is saved. Now watch how cool this is. So you don't have to really do anything here. Um, you can test it over here and all this other stuff. But I'm gonna show you the, how it really works. I actually just saved it. So now all you have to do is once you save it, go to a website like this. See it over here? And I went to an air fryer's website. Just, you know, let's just say I wanna learn about this before I go to bed. I wanna have an audio file that's gonna read this text back to me. So how do I do this? Well, once I created that, that whole application, all I have to do now is I select a whole bunch of text. See this like this? I select any text I want. It can be any text. I right click on it. Just make sure you have right click enabled. You have to do that, you know, when you set up your Mac. And then you go down to services. See it there? And uh, in services, you'll notice that there's something in here called text to speech. And that's the name of the file that I just saved. Remember I saved it, I called it text to speech. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and it wouldn't be in here otherwise. It's only in there because I created it in Automator. Just think about that. So, so again, you, you highlight the text, you right click, and now go down to services, and then down here, text to speech is the thing I just created in Automator, and I click on it. And you're gonna say, well, what happened? Nothing happened. Well, it actually did what it's supposed to do. Watch this. So now I can click off this, and now, remember I said I was gonna save it to the desktop? So let me just kind of close all this. Well, I'll leave this open, but I can, well, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go file. I'm gonna close this down just to close it. It's proved that I don't need uh, Automator up. But look over here, I created this file over here and it's called test to speech test. Remember I called it test when I created the file and I saved the application as just text to speech. So here's the file it created. Now listen to this, if I click on it. First off, a disappointment, air fryers are not deep. Let me go ahead and, and raise the volume so you can hear it. They are basically small, powerful ovens and ovens use air as a vehicle for heat whereas deep frying uses fat as the vehicle for heat. All right, as you can see, it's basically reading back exactly what I highlighted. You can change the speed of it and there are various things and you can change the voice. That voice is kind of uh, pretty bad, but long story short, it creates this file. So now I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna go back to the web really quickly again. Um, we'll go back to Safari. We'll scroll down. Again, you can choose any sections, major sections, minor sections, but let me just choose that little one. I'm just gonna remember, right click, services and then down to text to speech right there and where did it go well actually i'm just going to shut this down now it created a second file see it here and it just concatenates that now this is text to speech test one this was just test so it's going to keep adding files you can drag these anywhere you want again listen put the air fryer on a heat resistant surface all right see that so that's saying put the air fryer on a heat resistant s surface oh i just shut it down i can't go back to show you but that's actually what i selected so you get the idea anything you select you can put this to use in a lot of different ways so just want to show people how easy it is to use automator and just fool around with it just be careful because when you do applications it does things you don't want it to like delete all your files or something but but you have to know kind of what you're doing but there's a lot of apple you know information out there on this so definitely check it out support my channel let's catch you on the other side i'm going to say bye in a second here all right so what do you think there pretty cool right so automator has a million different functions built into it and you can do tons of different things check out my channel i did a whole bunch of other stuff before um, if you search for automator on my channel i showed you how to like you know click one button and it opens up a bunch of websites a whole bunch of weird stuff like that but you can kind of go in there and fool around um, again there's a lot of different ways you can do this i know you're going to leave comments and stuff oh you can do it this way it's easier whatever this is just getting you involved in automator showing you what's available and you can create these things literally in seconds and they can maybe help a lot of people out there and one depending on what you're creating there um, long story short I just wanted to show people what this is all about in automator and you tell me is this useful or not do you want to see more of this I mean I can always do my reviews and stuff I'll do a couple of these slotted in here and there I'm not gonna concentrate on this but if you want to see a couple more let me know in the comments I can create some anyways I'll talk to everybody soon have a good weekend I know it's a long weekend for a lot of people at least in the United States we'll talk to everybody peace